Well, Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network coming to you from the hills overlooking beautiful and picturesque Monterey Bay and bringing you the news behind the news, the story behind the story, hoping to convince you that the media is tightly and rigidly controlled by six major corporations that largely determine almost everything you think, read, see and believe. It's been going on for a long period of time. All those corporations are AOL, Time Warner, Bertelsmann, a German corporation, Viacom that controls CBS, a Disney that controls ABC, Comcast that controls NBC, and certainly Murdoch that controls Fox and certainly the Wall Street Journal, and so much of what you read, London uh, newspapers, and these, this, these six major corporations with counterparts in Europe a lot to determine what you believe, and most of what you believe just is not true. And one of the things they're trying to do right now is to get us to go along with certainly the destruction of the the energy infrastructure of our society, cutting back on um, CO2 emissions uh, from coal power plants, uh, raising the price certainly of, of electricity to the point where certainly they will lower living standards in America. As certainly in other countries, they raise living standards. They know exactly what they're doing. They don't want you to know. The lie that certainly uh, global warming is being produced by CO2 is a lie. The, the level of CO2 has gone from three hundredths of percent to four hundredths of percent here, and they, they tell us that this is what's producing all the problems. They tell us that every responsible scientist, climate scientist in the world agrees that human activity is influencing the, the weather. And yet, of course, my good friend Art Robinson has over 30,000 scientists, ten, over 10,000 of them, client scientists who say that's a lie, and you can go up in the internet and check it out. Art Robinson, uh, the petition, and over almost 10,000 climate scientists say there is no evidence that man's activity is influencing global warming. So who's lying? The media is. Well, with us is Deborah Tavares, who's trying to bring us into an understanding of how they're using this so-called phony threat to the environment to destroy America, to justify massive population reduction, and of course to change the structure of society. Deborah, pick up the story. Yes, uh, thank you, Dr. Stan. Um, I first want to um, say a quote, and this is very important, and I would really like everyone to listen very carefully. This is uh, former FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover, and this was said in 1956. The individual is handicapped by coming face-to-face with a conspiracy so monstrous he cannot believe it exists. The American mind simply has not come to the realization of the evil which has been introduced into our midst. It rejects even the assumption that human creatures could espouse a philosophy which must ultimately destroy all that is good and decent. Now, Dr. Stan, I want to talk, of course, about the climate action plans that are now uh, being evidenced by the EPA's announcement of closing more coal fire plants. Uh, the climate action plans are in every city across the nation. And uh, for all of the listeners, you can go to our website, stopthecrime.net, stopthecrime.net, and click on the Climate Action Plan link. Now, I'm going to uh, be citing a number of very important documents that are free downloads from our site. And uh, if you're not able to download any of these uh, because you don't have a printer or what have you, uh, you can call a print shop that for the cost of printing and shipping, they will get you these documents because we want them in everyone's hands as immediately as possible. We're in an extremely dangerous and predatory reality, and every day it's, uh, it's escalating. So here's the phone number. It's area code 707-586-9558. Once again, area code 707-586-9558. That is only if you cannot download documents uh, for free off of StopTheCrime.net. So, Dr. Stan, I first want to start out by, uh, you know, of course, building the foundation of how things have gotten so out of control and how uh, Common Core and Agenda 21 uh, policies that are coming through the White House, through the executive branch, via executive order, 
seemed to just be uh, a tsunami going over every single city and town in the United States and globally. And what is happening here? Well, specifically in the United States, what we were not taught in school and what is now uh, full-on bore in effect is Senate Report 93549. That's 93549. Everyone needs to understand that the United States has been in an annually extended national state of emergency since 1933. What does that mean? Every single year, every sitting president, does not matter which political persuasion it is, has again uh, continued with this national state of emergency. And this is in order to maintain dictatorial control. What does that mean? Well, it, it allows the authorization of the many divisions and corporate agencies of the executive branch to make all of the decisions. This is why uh, we're seeing executive orders one after the other, and people keep wondering why this can't be stopped, why the National Defense Authorization Act occurred. And most recently, what we're seeing here in Northern California, we're literally seeing the, um, the takeover of our, of our water supply here. And I'll get into that in a minute. But I also want to point out the other uh, act that was passed, and of course that was the um, Executive Order 13603. That's the National Defense Res Resource Preparedness Act. All of this is coming out of the, of the executive branch via executive order. We are not being represented by a representative government. We, we are, in fact, being run by a corporate structure and mega banks that have been posing as a legitimate government. We have a de facto government. And as difficult as this is for people to understand, you need to simply think about this because... If we had a legitimate, caring, concerned, representative government that was interested in the people's benefit, we would not have to go to the food uh, stores and read the labels and try to circumvent all the toxins that are in our food supply intentionally. We would not have to be concerned about all the poisons that are added to the water supply. We would not find that GMOs, genetically modified organisms, are being pushed into the food supply. We do not have a legitimate government. All you have to do is look overhead and see the daily assault of the weaponized weather warfare and the toxic chemtrailing from the military and private corporations that is poisoning the air we breathe, the soil, etc. daily. And so I can say to you, please go to StopTheCrime.net, go to the USA Inc. link, and take a look at these source documents. And not only Senate Report 93549, but also, most importantly, The Great American Adventure, Secrets of America by retired Judge Dale, along with a second document he wrote called The Matrix and the U.S. Constitution. Everyone listening needs to understand that we do not have federal and state governments. They are not real. It is an illusion. Sadly, we have all been indoctrinated to the extent that we are in a virtual reality. And it tells us that in many documents, in the NASA war document, for example, on page 12 and 13, it talks about the technological ages of humankind. And the final stage is a virtual reality, and that's when things are not real. Uh, this is when they say it will be complete robotization and uh, transhumanism. And that's where we are heading. And what everyone needs to realize is right now in your town, you can go down to your uh, building department or your planning department and ask to see the policies that they've already uh, put in place to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions. This is all phony, false science. This is political science. Hold, is hold that thought, Deborah. We're going to a break. Ladies and gentlemen, global warming is not being produced by human activity, but they're going to use it uh, to destroy the infrastructure of our society. America is under attack today. 
Well, this is Dr. Stan back here at the Genesis Communication Network. Our guest is Deborah Tavares. Uh, Tavares, and we're talking certainly about this move, organized, coordinated move, to convince you that global warming, oh, we've got to transform society. Global warming is certainly going to transform society. Well, it changed everything. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been no global warming for about 14 to 16 years. Yes, there was an episode of global warming, but it stopped, and basically, if you look carefully at what they're telling you, most of it is a lie. They will tell you that the Antarctic ice pack is, is melting, and it is melting in some areas, and in other areas it's expanding rapidly. They never tell you about the others. They tell you that the snows of Kilimanjaro are melting, but they're melting because they cut down all the trees. Uh, but actually, Kilimanjaro is colder than it was uh, 20 years ago. Most of what you read in the newspaper is controlled because the media is controlled by a group of very wicked people. You need to get the book, The New Media Monopoly, written by Professor Ben Bagdikian. Chris, he's a left-wing professor. He thinks the right-wing controls the media. The people on the right think the left-wing controls the media. And they're both wrong. They're controlled by a small... Oh, conspiracy, and it is a conspiracy, six major corporations here in the United States and comparable throughout the world, and they're moving us into a world dictatorship and destruction of our way of life. Deborah, you pick up the story and go on from there. Well, that's exactly right, Dr. Stan. As a matter of fact, we recently did an emergency town hall meeting. It's now up on YouTube. It's also on the homepage of StopTheCrime.net. It's entitled, Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans? The Silent Weapons Systems are Fully Engaged. So if you just type in, Who is Running America, you will see our emergency town hall. We break down the fact that we are an incorporation. The United States is incorporated, as well as all of your cities, your local agencies. The EPA is incorporated. All of these agencies are incorporated. They're all listed on Dun & Bradstreet. They're all doing business. They do not serve us. They're interested in their uh, profit, their bottom line, and therefore they cannot serve the best interest of the people when their fiscal um, bottom line is their main goal and objective. And this is extremely important to understand. The Bureau of Land Management is incorporated. The Air Quality Management is incorporated. All of these are corporate agencies that have been put in place incrementally through the executive branch in Washington, D.C., via executive order and every single year that we remain in the extended national state of emergency, more agencies are put in place, Homeland Security, etc. The list is endless, and the list is expanding constantly. Here in California now, with the drought water emergency, I just attended a meeting yesterday, absolutely horrifying. They are getting ready now to create legislation here in Sacramento, in California, that will create groundwater management controllers. Now, there will be um, a policing of your usage of water. In fact, the headlines of our recent little local newspaper said the Upper River, the Upper Russian River water rights are cut. Now, the Russian River runs along Bohemian Grove here in Northern California, and they're slashing the ability for uh, water users to access water out of the Russian River because of this engineered drought. Now, of course, I know most of you that are listening uh, are aware that the weather modification or what we call geoengineering is a deliberate large-scale manipulation of the Earth's climate. And, and, Deborah, what you are saying, in essence, is that they have the ability to influence the climate through aerial spraying, through HARP, and through other scientific methods. They can actually change the weather. Is this what you're suggesting? That's exactly what is happening, and the documents prove it, Dr. Stan. Everyone that's listening can go to our other website. It's ToxicSky.org, ToxicSky.org. You can take a look at the NASA documents, the patents. Uh, there is a endless amount of government proof. Also, I would recommend that everybody also uh, go back and look at what uh, Congressman Krasinich put forth um, in the early 2000s, trying to uh, defund this uh, weather modification program. This is no new news. And the weather modification program is far 
more um, dangerous than just the weaponization of the weather, which they've done. Uh, it's, it's a land grab. It's uh, taking people off their lands. It really is the, uh, the story behind the story of this false global warming. The whole idea that uh, man is shifting the climate, no. There are corporate agencies that have been uh, responsible for manipulating the climate, and they're trying to keep this uh, in the dark corners of our inability to understand this. Climate change is the dark world of environmental and economic warfare. And the plans that your cities have adopted and are in the process of adopting that are requiring you to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions or your carbon footprint or CO2, all of the same, is really a plan. It's a covert weather weapons and economic warfare program. It's a silent weapons system. And I can tell you our research team has looked at hundreds of climate action plans, and they talk about how uh, the increased weather events with floods and droughts and wildfires and storms and changes in weather patterns higher, will lead to higher food prices and food scarcity. Of course, they're targeting the reduction of our food supply intentionally. But they also tell us as a result of these increased weather events that they are creating, there will be increased deaths and heat-related re illnesses. Um, they also talk about respiratory illnesses and seasonal allergies, uh, displacement of people, waterborne illnesses. What is happening now is a covert, massive depopulation in full gear. It has been ongoing uh, since before the Iron Mountain Report came out that told us what they had planned. The Iron Mountain Report talks about how they intended to reduce the population on an annual basis. Yeah, you know, that is so incredible, Deborah. Most people say they intend to decrease the population. Why, everybody knows the population is growing. I would simply ask everybody in the listening audience to go up on the Internet and type in uh, Population Control Agenda Monograph. Population Control Agenda Monograph. You can find it in Google. You can find it under my name. You can find it on my website, RadioLiberty.com. Read the Population Control Agenda Monograph. Make 100 copies and distribute it. You will find the genocidal program that I described here 20 years ago is well underway today. AIDS, the AIDS epidemic is part of it. There's so many things. The coming war is part of it. You're going to see devastation and death and murder murder on its scale undreamed of, we've already killed 162,000 innocent civilians over there in Syria, and their blood is on the hands of the American taxpayer who's paid us a need for the terrorists who are over there, uh, have created a civil war in Syria that's killed 162,000 Syrian civilians. Why do we ever talk about it? Because they don't want you to understand that their blood is on your hands. Go right ahead, Deborah. Well, that's absolutely right, Dr. Stan. And um, I would recommend that everybody immediately understand what is occurring in your towns right now. The requirements oh, hold to that reduce thought, hold your that carbon thought. We're, going, we're going to a break. Well, Dr. Stan, back here at the Genesis Communication Network, Sydney, our guest is Deborah Tavares. If you're out there in the listening audience, you have a question for Deborah, uh, a question, why give us a call at 1 800 259 5791. 1 800 259 5791. But before we go on, Deborah, I want you to tell our listeners how they can get to your website, how they can get your information, how they can get the various things you've written, and how they can join you and help you get the word out about this phony, a uh, Sydney environmental crisis that is being used to transform America and Sydney to lower our living standards and to decrease our population. How can people get in touch with you and begin to verify and document the things you're saying? Yes, thank you, Dr. Stan. Yes, um, everyone go to StopTheCrime.net. That is StopTheCrime.net. We have uh, tabs at the top. It says Source Documents. I would certainly familiarize yourselves immediately with Silent Weapons, Quiet Wars, with the NWO Exposed 1969 by an Insider, 
and with The Great American Adventure, Secrets of America. There are many books. Um, we don't have a lot of time uh, to wrap our heads around the enormity of what is occurring. I can tell you that it is, it is certainly speeding up. And uh, I would go to the Climate Action Plan link on the homepage of StopTheCrime.net so that you can literally put your hands on these plans in your city right now so that you'll understand very soon you're going to have energy uh, uh, code auditors coming and knocking on your door wanting to inspect the interior of your home to make certain that you are reducing your greenhouse gas emissions. There are target dates within the plans, and you're hearing right now on national news about the EPA and the target dates to reduce coal power plants to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, or CO2. The target dates, the first round of target dates is 2020. So you're going to see your lifestyle change dramatically. You're going to see um, lots of penalties and fines being um, uh, assessed on homes that are not meeting the required energy reductions through your code of violations uh, departments in your cities, along with the Department of Energy, who has trained energy audit assessors, again, to knock on your door, come into your house with equipment, and to use scorecards from 1 to 10 and put your homes on a national data base um, to the level of efficiency. Your home will be tracked and monitored. They're using your zip code, the square footage of your home, and the census, the reported occupants that are in your home. Also, to determine if your home is being utilized sustainability. Uh, sustainably, and you have reduced your greenhouse gas emissions, these plans are requiring smart meters. These plans are requiring retrofitting of all existing appliances that are not Energy Star rated. This would also include the, um, the fans in your bathrooms, your uh, heat and air equipment, and of course, all of your other appliances. Bear in mind, Energy Star rated appliances do not manufacture appliances in gas. We are soon going to be forced to replace all gas appliances and equipment with electric only. This is a way in which they are furthering the inability to access resources. Also, you'll see on the Climate Action Plan link on StopTheCrime.net a page that we found out of the U.S. Department of Energy. I would urge everybody to understand where your reality is going. What they say in the Department of Energy document is the real goal of energy use. They're aiming for zero. They say this is the ultimate goal, to not use energy. The most efficient energy is energy we do not generate. This is not a technology. This is a behavior modification or learning to live in a new reality. This is what is now becoming obvious. We're being taken down to a third world level. This is called equity. And this is what the United Nations Agenda 21 has been talking about for a very long time. And I can only say it's now coming into your neighborhood, and you must not consent. On StopTheCrime.net, again, on the Climate Action Plan link, we have a government employee questionnaire. It's a two-page questionnaire. We would recommend that you download this questionnaire and have it available to hand to enter any um, corporate employee, and they're all working for the corporations. Your cities are incorporated. Uh, you're, they are not doing business for you. They are doing business, and they are employees of the corporations. Download that two-page questionnaire, and you're going to ask them to fill that out before you allow them to enter your property. You do not need to be angry when you present this or belligerent. You can just uh, hand it to them. They don't understand, uh, by and large, what they're doing either. But uh, what it was requiring is for them to show you the corporate statute that you signed or you voted for or that you agreed to, authorizing your approval to uh, allow them to conduct an energy audit in your home. Now, the, this is whether you rent, you own, or you lease. 
This form is good for all of that. We must, we absolutely must, throw as many sticks in the wheel of this monster that we possibly can. This is one little stick that you can do. We must stop consenting. In order for this uh, de facto government to exist, it requires our uh, continued consent. And what does that mean? Well, I think that um, retired Judge Dale says it best. He says all this deception is compounded by the refusal of ordinary Americans to realize and not to know or to understand because of the secrecy that the privately owned corporations have portrayed themselves as American agencies and government, and they are not. We have been lied to. All of it is hinged together by our inability and lack of education. They have kept us enslaved by lack of education. And it is now to the point where these structures and these systems coming down upon us are, are extinguishing life on Earth, all life on Earth. The system has no knowledge. The corporation charters do not acknowledge life. They acknowledge profitability and agendas. Now, water meeting here in Northern California, and we had two congressmen there yesterday, and it was very alarming. I said earlier in the getting ready to monitor all ground water. That means all rural property owners, country property owners, are going to soon find that they're going to be required to have smart metering. They're going to have their access for their well wells and their water greatly reduced. And they are going to have enforcement arms in the new bills that are going to be coming out of Sacramento right now. Now, what I find very interesting in these meetings, and I would recommend that some of you attend these meetings, it's all doublespeak. They present these, uh, these bills and these uh, water plans as being voluntary. But then they say that they will uh, have uh, teeth in them and there will be monitoring. So you've got to bring up the fact that this is all doublespeak. What has occurred is doublespeak. We have been fooled uh, with lack of information. We have been uh, pushed by Delphi techniques coming out of the RAND Corporation the Delphi technique is a meeting manipulation strategy. It's, con it's a meeting s format and style that is used in every single meeting. School boards, your, count your city councils, they don't want to hear from you. Public input is very limited. Uh, they want you to have your say and then to go away. That's because they're all incorporated. They're doing business. They do not serve you. And the corporate grants require the illusion of public input. It is all an illusion. You don't affect policy. And what we discovered, and I, I think I hear the music, Dr. Stan. You Stamp. do? Hold that thought. We'll be back in a moment with Deborah Tavares. If you have a question for Deborah, give us a call. If only a question. We don't want comments. Oh, right here at 800-259-5791. Well, Dr. Stan, back here, our guest is Deborah Tavares. Deborah, one more time, I want to tell our listeners how they can get to your website. For those who would like to verify the fact that there is an organized genocidal policy aimed at killing uh, literally billions of people in America and throughout the world, please go to the Internet and type in the, the Population Control Agenda Monograph. It's something I wrote some years ago during the AIDS epidemic when I recognized that AIDS was being used for genocide. It's a man-made disease. Oh, we've been blocked at every turn from doing anything about it because the disease is targeted at blacks and homosexuals. And you're never going to hear this, but global Population Control Agenda Monograph, Population Control Agenda Monograph. You'll find it on my website. You'll find it on the Internet. You'll find it under my name. But, Deborah, how can people get to your website, get your information? Yes, Dr. Stan, um, go to stopthecrime.net. We have many links. There are uh, enormous uh, problems that we all face. For those of you that are listening, uh, it is important to understand what is happening in your cities right now. But the threat to humanity expands to increased frequencies, which these climate action plans are promoting as well. With the require requirements that we de 
uh, allowed the deployment of smart meters on our homes and all the RFID chipped appliances that interface with the smart meters located on your homes. That means there's increased pulsed microwave frequencies going through your internal home environment coupled with all the additional assaults of the uh, cell phone towers and antennas and whatever wireless you have in your homes. When you go to StopTheCrime.net, also go to our solutions page. Again, uh, download that employee questionnaire on the uh, Climate Action Plan link. Understand here in Sonoma County where I am, we have a... um, It's called the Santa Rosa Police Department's Environmental Crimes Team. This crimes team will be going around and enforcing the already adopted climate action plan here in Santa Rosa, which was adopted June 5th of 2012. We're well on our way to leading the nation with the way in which they're going to conduct the reduced use of all energy in our home. Our plans in Sonoma County are the most aggressive in the nation with target dates and reduction requirements far greater than most of the other plans that we have seen, in that here we must reduce our carbon footprint 25 percent below 1990 levels by the end of 2015. So we are under a mass assault here in Northern California because many, of course, uh, agencies such as Bechtel and Packard, who are all part of the Bilderberg team, have launched interests here as well as Rothschild, who has a tremendous in- interest in the vineyards here in Northern California. Uh, they have been eyeing the progressive attitude here in Northern California. And at the water meeting yesterday that I attended, it was it was everything short of horrific. When they uh, limit the water supply that people can use on their private properties, your properties will have massive decreasing value. And they said yesterday at the water meeting that the one thing that would have been standing in their way up to now is the concern of private property rights. However, in order for water to be used equitably, no, no longer can private r- property rights be considered. They said, after all, you really don't have private property rights in that whenever you build or add anything to your property, you have to pull a permit. You need approvals. So they're getting around the idea that you will uh, not be allowed to use your wells. This is massively going to hit the rural properties. This is all part of Agenda 21, where they're literally wiping us off the rural lands. In the climate action plans, it tells us that anything outside of the city growth boundaries is considered sprawl and unsustainable. And I attended a, a USDA meeting here in Northern California in a town called Petaluma. Petaluma is a coastal city. Uh, It is known for its cheese production and its dairy industry. And what the few farmers that attended did not hear, did not understand, is that the groups supporting the USDA in reducing their greenhouse gas emissions are, are meatless groups. In other words, farms are being attacked because if they have any kind of farm animal at all, it is considered unsustainable. And we're talking even chickens. And uh, these groups that are supporting these, um, these uh, conservation agencies that are converging on the farms nationwide are all backed behind the World Bank and large corporate in- interests. This is a takedown of all land in the United States. And I would highly recommend that you go to YouTube and you watch the movie Torn from the Land. But I have many, many recommendations of things that you should most immediately look at. If you go to that YouTube I spoke about earlier that we did, the emergency town hall meeting, it's entitled Who is Running America? At the end of that uh, discussion, where we outline the climate action plans and how this is happening, what you can expect. We also point out the over 31,000 American scientists that say there is no such thing as global warming. There are many facts within this um, uh, YouTube video as well as links and recommendations of what you should be reading immediately, including referencing to the corporate 
government employee questionnaire. We've all got to take action. Dr. Stan, you asked what I would recommend everyone does. Uh, your uh, non-discussion, your lack of knowledge, your lack of engagement is your consent. We are at war. We are the enemy. Based on Senate Report 93549, we have a de facto government that is absolutely uh, going to take over every aspect of your lives, and it is happening uh, Every day, we're seeing more and more evidence, and these climate action plans are global. And let me just point out, if you want to know who the people are, you need to read my book, Brotherhood of Darkness. Brotherhood of Darkness is based upon 30 or 40 years of research. It's well documented, and certainly it's easy to read. Brotherhood of Darkness, you can get it by calling one 800 544 one eight hundred five four four eight nine two seven. You can buy them by the case. We want to get them out. We want people to understand that there's a subversive element. It's not right. It's not left. It is dedicated, of course, to the destruction of humanity. Deborah Tavares, thank you very much for being with us. One more time, your website, and we'll let you go. Yes, um, stopthecrime.net <laughs> and check out all the links and all of the information. It's all been fully documented, and take a look at our source document tab. Everything that you've heard me discuss today on Dr. Stan's show is fully documented. Thank you so much, Dr. Stan. It's always a pleasure. God bless. And this is Dr. Stan. This is the time I need to remind our listeners that my ministry, Radio Liberty, is primarily listener-supported. We do five hours of talk radio five days a week. And basically, um, I don't get paid. My wife doesn't get paid. What we do is we're putting the information out so that you uh, can get it to others. And basically, of course, we hope that you will decide to join the Radio Liberty family of supporters and help finance it so we can maintain our network of stations. And basically, um, we do an hour first thing in the morning uh, in Colorado. We do two hours in the afternoon on the Genesis Network. We do two hours in the evening on suddenly the Christian Religious Broadcasting Network and the American Freedom Network. We're reaching people all across the country, but we can't do it without your help. Will you join the Radio Liberty family and uh, suddenly either subscribe to our newsletter, uh, suddenly get our uh, four best tapes or CDs of the month and our newsletter, I uh, suddenly get the various products that we offer. We have health products. We have uh, suddenly gasoline additives. We have uh, the Berkey products. We have uh, all the sorts of things that, that you need uh, in preparation for the difficult times that lie ahead. But quite frankly, we need your financial support so we can continue doing what we're doing. Most of the major networks are having problems. Most of the Christian networks are having problems. Uh, the economy is slowing down. We're heading into a major cataclysmic event. I don't know what it's going to be, but I do know it's coming, and it's coming fairly soon. And it's certainly we try to do everything we can to uh, get our listeners to prepare for what's going on and certainly point them to the various places they can get the equipment, the thought process, process. People who are not prepared are going to lose everything because most people don't understand money. Only a small number do. Probably only one or two percent of the population are buying gold and silver. Yet that is certainly what the people in China are doing. That's what the people in India are doing because they understand that money is a, a totally fraudulent concept and gold and silver the foundation of all monetary systems. Our number one 800 one 800 Our webpage is RadioLiberty.com. Please pray for Radio Liberty. We'll be back here in just a moment with the, the next hour here at Radio Liberty.